Now this is a very exciting exercise because we will be printing a pyramid using asterisks. So first we need to understand what is happening when we are printing this. Okay. First let's count this. Now if we count how many spaces we have here, it's one, two, three, four. If we go down, it's one, two, three. If we go further down, it's one, two. Go further down, it's one, and then there is no space. So we have four, three, two, one, and zero spaces. So it is decreasing. And let's see how many stars we have. We have one star, we have one, two, three star, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then seven, and then nine stars. So stars are increasing by a factor of two, or if it is one, then we add two, it becomes three, we add two, it becomes five, if we add two, it becomes seven. So that's how many stars we are printing. So stars are increasing by two, and spaces are decreasing by one. So what's happening? And we have five rows, right? So in the first row, we have five minus one spaces, second five minus two, in third five minus three, in fourth five minus one, and finally we have no spaces at all. There is five minus five, zero spaces. And what else is happening here is first we have one, then we have two, then we have sorry first we have one then we have three then we have five right so what one way to think of it is one plus two is three then three plus two is five and five plus two is seven so that is one way of thinking this so we are trying to create a logic that we will use to code right or another way to think is two into one minus one two into two two multiplied by two minus one is three two multiplied by three minus one is five 2 multiplied by 4 minus 1 is 7. So those are two different ways of thinking. it. So let's see how we will do this. What I will do is first, let's define how many rows we want in our pyramid. So we have five rows here. So let's say we want 10 rows in our pyramid this time. We will we'll make a bigger pyramid. So what we do need to do is we need to create a loop. So this will be written com written automatically in a loop instead of writing a whole bunch of 10 lines of code right so we do for i in range so how many times we want to do this 10 times right so there are 10 lines of pyramids so what we'll do is range one and rows plus one so it will start from one it will go till 10 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the rows plus one is 11 because rows is 10 but when we are doing range the last that is excluded so 11 will be excluded so we will have i from ranging from 1 to 10. now what we need to do is in the first line we need to first print spaces right so we'll type let's write a comment here so we will print we'll print an empty space now how many times we need to print this empty space as as you can see if it was five rows we have to print four spaces so if it's ten rows we will have to print nine spaces right so what we'll do is we'll print a space into multiply it by how many times by rows minus i initially what will happen is we have uh, we have a white space here and then we print it how many times rows minus i that is 10 minus 1 so nine spaces will be printed so after that what we need to print is print asterisk now this time how many asterisks do we need to print we need to print one asterisk itself right so we write one straight away and then what we need to do is it's two into one minus one so i is one initially and it will be increased as the loop goes on so what we do is asterisk two let's put this inside a bracket 2 multiplied by i minus 1. Now, this is all we need to do. Let's run this and let's see what happens. Now, we have a pyramid, but it does not look like this. It looks like a right triangle. So, why is that? Do you know why that is? That's because this is printed in one line and this is printed in another line. So, that's why there is... Uh, let's let me show it to you again that's why we have this space here because once we print asterisk and then we print this empty white space 
we print asterisk, we print empty white space, but we need these two to be in the same line. So what happens is by default, when we write print, the, the line is ended with a new line and the cursor is moved below. So if we do this, it will print a white space and then it will go down. But we don't need to go down. So what we need to do is we need to define a parameter called end. And instead of new line, we just do nothing here. We just pass nothing here. It's empty strings. So now if we run this, as you can see, a 10 rows pyramid is created. So I hope this helped you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.